Up next on Crime Watch, using the internet and the home computer as significant tools to prevent crime. We'll look at exciting new technology that you can use at home. You'll meet a man who is a positive force in his community. We'll show you what he does to make his neighborhood safer. That plus we'll show you how to make your home safer. You can do it if you make the right moves. This is Chicago Crime Watch. CAPS, together it's working. Working to make neighborhoods safer. I'm Peter Carl and this is Chicago Crime Watch. Chicago police and the community have a new tool to help fight crime. It's a new cutting edge version of the website called ClearPath and it's destined to become a model for the rest of the world. This is completely revolutionary. This is the first of its kind in the country. For more than two years, Chicago police worked with residents and leaders from the Pilsen, Little Village, and West Haven neighborhoods in the ClearPath pilot project. The mission to help design the new state-of-the-art technology. Currently, there is a ClearPath website online. However, this new effort completely revamps that site. What's different is the, the user interface is different. We got a lot of, of input from the community and we actually redesigned the entire look and feel of the website based on that input. We also added uh, a large set of, of functions that the community asked for. What's exciting about this project is the collaboration, the extent of the collaboration between the police department and, uh, and the community. I mean, I think it takes, takes partnership to a whole new level. There was an even exchange. There was a lot of work and input that went into um, putting the um, uh, process into something that's, that ultimately became you know, clear path. So, after all the meetings and hours and hours of labor, community groups got a first-hand look at the new web creation, unveiled at the Police Training Academy. Let me present the new clear path. It's inviting, it's user-friendly, and it's easy to get around. ClearPath is designed to serve as an information bridge between the CPD and neighborhood residents. It allows for two-way communication that promotes accountability and builds trust. What it is is open up a bigger line of communications with the community and the police department. This way they have up-to-the-minute uh, information on crime that affects their community and they can have input in regards to how we deploy our resources also. I envision the police in a community building our mutual trust and respect and um, uh, accountability and being able to connect with the community better. Any questions or comments about the process of tracking your community concern? Can you figure out how to do that? At the unveiling, people were given the chance to explore the new site. Some of the key features include the ability to map and track crimes in the neighborhoods, as well as share information anonymously with police about crime problems or neighborhood disorder. So, for example, if somebody wants to report a, a problem with gangs hanging out in a park, they can report that information anonymously. We can assign them an anonymous PIN number, and we can tell them what the police department is doing with the community to help address that problem. That is one of the things that I think is this absolutely outstanding, because a lot of times in certain communities, they are afraid to come to a community forum and speak their mind or give us the information that we need. This way is done, we get the information, the dialogue is there, and we can address these concerns much faster. Another feature critical to residents was the site be available in English and Spanish. So, on the home page, users can click on a link and go to a Spanish language version. Additional languages will be phased in gradually. And so it was important for us uh, to have all communities represented so that nobody felt that they could not access it. During the planning sessions, the issue of police accountability was put on the table. As a result, there is information on how to report bad behavior on the part of a police officer, or how to complement outstanding behavior by an officer. ClearPath is packed with information on topics from crime prevention to how to start a block club to community events. The links are very good because you can find um, what you need and it's very community friendly and that's what the community wanted. I think it was informative and it, it appeased what we asked for for our community. I work with teenagers a lot, so having that whole section of the gangs and explaining the different gang affiliations, I think is important that the kids, that the neighborhood needs to know. The ClearPath pilot project was funded by a grant from the MacArthur Foundation. 
It's the first time MacArthur has directly funded a police department in its history. The clear path system that will become public will enable people to talk with the police, to get information, to analyze what goes on around their house, around their block, in the larger community, so that they can become more involved in figuring out how to make the neighborhood safer for everyone. When ClearPath goes online in July, you will be able to access it at www.chicagopolice.org.